This is definitely an attack. It will affect your child rearing. It will affect your education system. This is instructions for the teacher in the classroom to ask her or his students, how do people express their sexual feelings? What is abstinence? And here are some answers. Oral sex, masturbation, anal sex, massage, holding hands, touching each other's genitals, saying, I like you. And what they're doing is equating all these things. Saying, I like you, is equal to anal sex. It is pornography. Men, especially on the house floor, did not want to look at. We couldn't show this on the television news, but yet we want our fourth grade children to be looking at this book. In the name of sexuality education, children are seeing obscene materials that have been ruled by Congress and by the Supreme Court impossible to show to children. An online CSE program for African youth called The World Starts With Me tells children that sexuality includes oral sex and masturbation. It then tells them it's their own choice if they want to lose their virginity. It shows children pictures of naked girls and boys in various stages of development and then asks them to point out differences in their private parts. Parents likely will never know as it is all done online away from home. They have elementary students as young as nine years old. Then they teach them how to wear a condom. And they have this plastic genitalia and they even have uh, young girls. They're teaching them how to put a condom on a male genitalia and boys how to put a condom on a woman genitalia without the knowledge and consent of the parents. They're giving them handouts, negotiating sexual encounters with other students. For example, there are statements like this, can I take your shirt off? It makes me hot when you touch me here. Is it okay if I take my pants off? Where we in Latin America, we still have a lot of poverty. We have communities that don't have fresh water, that don't have electricity. Focus is completely shifted from basic needs. They get a comprehensive sexual education without the consent of parents, taking and deconstructing the family. My brother Luigi and I had an opportunity to go to the United Nations and give a speech on the UN floor. I told them how Planned Parenthood was passing out a booklet for HIV positive youth at the United Nations called Healthy, Happy and Hot. This is for the kids who have AIDS. It teaches about sexual pleasure through masturbation with same-sex partners and even if you are drunk. This pamphlet called Healthy, Happy and Hot tells young people that you have the right not to disclose your HIV status to a sexual partner if you're not comfortable. It also tells young people that are HIV positive that if they decide with their partner not to wear a condom, that's their decision. The World Health Organization standards for sexuality education in Europe actually suggest that children ages zero to four should be given information about masturbation and given the right to explore their gender identity. For ages four to six, children should be taught about same-sex relationships and respect for different norms regarding sexuality. The interests of organizations like UNFPA and IPPF is to get parents out of the picture and to radicalize and sexualize children. UNFPA has tried to convince my country to change our positions on issues such as reproductive rights and comprehensive sexuality education. Madam Chair, does the UNFPA think it can do this because Nauru is the smallest member state of the United Nations? The Nigerian government was actually told by the Western countries that if they do not give in, that they will be denied foreign aid. On page 89 of a UNICEF-published Sexual and Reproductive Health Manual, UNICEF listed situations in which one can obtain sexual pleasure that included sexual responses directed towards inanimate objects, animals, minors, and non-consenting persons. In the context of the Sustainable Development Goals that determines the agenda for the next 15 years, the voice is very, very biased. It's just International Planned Parenthood Federation and their affiliates. We have a direct influence on the outcome documents, on what, what is established, what is negotiated at the UN. 
Some of the objectives of the UNESCO Sexuality Education Guidelines include teaching children at age 9 about sexual stimulation and the definition and function of orgasm, and at age 15, that both men and women can receive sexual pleasure with a partner of the same or opposite sex. The It's All One curriculum, also promoted by International Planned Parenthood, reveals the multiple manipulative tactics used to indoctrinate and sexualize children through CSE. Like other CSE programs, It's All One claims, among other things, to be evidence-based, comprehensive, human rights, gender-sensitive, and culturally appropriate education that will increase young people's responsible decision-making to reduce adolescent rates of pregnancy and sexually transmitted infections, including HIV. It's All One, however, like most CSE programs, is really just cleverly disguised abortion rights sexual pleasure education masquerading as human rights, gender, and sexual and reproductive health education. It aggressively promotes abortion with over 112 references to abortion. It's All One has an obsessive focus on sexual pleasure, mentioning sexual pleasure 62 times. It promotes multiple sex acts and instructs children on how to stimulate themselves or their partner to orgasm. To explore their readiness, children fill out a worksheet that infers children are ready to have sex when you are feeling sexually attracted to the other person and when you're feeling comfortable about telling the other person what feels good sexually. It teaches that human rights encompass sexual rights, including alleged rights to all persons to sexual expression and the right to seek sexual pleasure. Hooking children on sex is a multi-billion dollar business for Planned Parenthood and other similar organizations. This is because children, or prospects, once sexualized, become Planned Parenthood customers dependent upon their services. Comprehensive sexuality education programs are disguised under many names. They may be called Comprehensive Sex or Sexual Education, Education on Human Sexuality, Reproductive Health Education, Information on Sexual and Reproductive Health, Family Life Education, Teen Pregnancy Prevention, Rape Prevention, Anti-Bullying Programs, HIV AIDS Prevention, and sometimes even Abstinence or Abstinence Plus Education. CSE programs usually falsely claim to be age-appropriate, evidence-based, healthy sexuality education that will prevent teen pregnancy, sexual abuse, STDs, and HIV. One of the handouts that concerns me the most is called the Genderbred Person. They teach that gender is a spectrum, that you can choose to be whatever you want. You could be all female one day, and the next day feel like you're neither female or male. Frankly, it's confusing. It's a mental molestation. We're confusing these kids as to what they are. From a medical perspective, when sexual freedom is the priority, then sexual health is gonna suffer. There are laws in Oregon where children as young as 15 can get taxpayer-funded sex changes without parental consent. You can't have an aspirin at school without parental consent. However, a student could make these life-altering, permanent decisions without their parental knowledge or consent. Sexual rights, sexual education movements began with Dr. Alfred C. Kinsey. Kinsey actually had pedophiles measure with a stopwatch how many children could achieve what he called orgasms within a 24-hour period. Today, comprehensive sexuality education is based on this philosophy that children are sexual from birth, created by Kinsey. Say not to CSC! Say not to CSC! We've got to stop it. We've got to use everything at our disposal. We have to stand together to stop this attack against our children. And they have all this funding and this organization, but we know that if we stand together, we can do something for the family, for the children. We stopped the Kinsey Sexuality Education Program in Croatia. It is time for parents to say, no, my family is mine. My wife is mine. I am hers. Our children are ours. Band together and find ways to stop it from entering your country. Men have to rise up, defend their family. On matters sexual, the fathers have got to stand up. 
said, you have no place talking sexuality to my children. We resist it, even with our lives, because that's what life is all about. It's happening on our watch. If we don't do something about it, it is all of us that carry that guilt. To learn more and to sign the petition to stop comprehensive sexuality education, go to stopcse.org. Together, we can and will protect the world's children.